And if you're heading to those games, it's going to be hot. Um, I was going to say sunscreen, but at 630, I guess at night you don't need it. <laughs> it but you're, big of a deal. Yeah. Yes, you're going to need some water, though, because it's going to be hot. Yeah, you know, that's one thing I could use here so far this college football season. It's been warm pretty much all the time. Mm -hmm. I could use one of those cooler games. Mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of people would agree. We do have some cooler air. Not sure it's going to line up for Saturday, but there is some October like temperatures ahead of us here as soon as tomorrow, actually, and they're coming on a cool breeze. that's going to be blowing in as soon as later on tonight. Now we still have a lot of dry weather in the forecast here as we go forward, whether it's still today in September or tomorrow into October and beyond outside right now. The breeze is picking up out of the north and west up into parts of west central and northwest Iowa. The flashing gold numbers you see here by all these weather stations are the current or last measured wind gust. So 20 mile per hour wind gust last hour up in Ames near 30 miles per hour spent are over 30 miles per hour up in Sioux City. A front is moving across the state of Iowa, kicking up a little ribbon of some clouds in the northwestern part of the state, but that's about all the moisture we got to work with. Now behind that front, there is some noticeably cooler air. We've got 80s widespread across central Iowa here this evening, 70s up in southeastern South Dakota, and then go out west on I-90 towards Rapid City. There's some 60s, and that's the sort of air that's coming our direction. So the breeze tonight will kick up out of the north and west. Uh, if you're in western Iowa within the next few hours here, let's say closer to Des Moines, probably later on this evening after the sun goes down. Top gusts probably going to be around the 35 mile per hour mark here, even after the sun goes down, which usually is a calmer time of night. We'll keep up that gu those gusts going into probably early tomorrow morning, and then they'll back down to maybe 20 or 25 miles per hour during the day tomorrow. But we keep that northerly breeze going a little bit cooler, more refreshing air for the day uh, tomorrow on our Tuesday, and it's going to be definitely more refreshing with these sort of temperatures. The forecast tomorrow, not mid 80s anymore. It'll be a lot drier feeling air too. We don't have a lot of humidity right now, but just enough that it's it's there. That's going to be scoured away here by that wind tonight. So most of us don't even make it to the 70 degree mark tomorrow, which is going to feel so much cooler. But that's actually pretty normal for this time of the year. Once you head to the beginning of October, you're usually topping out your temperature right around that 70 degree mark. Now, Tomorrow's the coolest. We warm up after that. We jump another 10 degrees back into here on Wednesday. The breeze turns to the south. It's going to be kind of a dry breeze here, too. And once you warm up, that means the air feels even drier, which means we could have a little bit of an elevated fire risk. Obviously, there's a lot of combines, tractors, grain carts, and so on out in those fields right now. That'll be something to keep in mind. No rail rainfall potential at all here in the eight day forecast. We're just going to keep things a little bit warm after tomorrow all the way into the weekend.